To know where we are going, we must first know where we have been. It's out here on the open road where you dig deep, look inward, push forth, and look to the future. It gives you time to think, time to breathe, and time to be. There is something special about these old, long-lost desert highways of the American West. These old roads and these old highways, they curve and they flow naturally with the landscape. They slow you down. They tell you a story about a time of what it must have been like to travel across America. Way back in a time when travel by automobile was at its inception. Of course, there's always an interstate nearby that will get you there ten times faster. But that comes with the consequence of missing a truly life-changing experience. Because this is the opportunity to explore the path less traveled. Now, exploration is defined as the action of traveling in or through an unfamiliar area in order to learn about it, or as I like to say, learn from it. It's often been said that in order to find yourself, you must first lose yourself. To me, losing oneself is a matter of completely hurling yourself into the abyss of everything unknown and taking the biggest chance in your life. To the point where you perhaps realize you are most likely to fail. It truly is the ultimate leap of faith. But it's in the vastness of the unknown where you are truly enticed to explore, to explore within. It's here on a long desert highway where I find my greatest sense for exploration. It's the expanse, the vastness, and the openness. Traveling through so much of the unknown seems to have a way of taking your mind, prying it open, and setting it free. It's in these moments when you begin to reflect. You reflect on the past, past memories, past heartaches, past accomplishments, past misfortunes, past experiences, and past adventures. And looking back, you connect the dots, realizing they make up the roadmap to the path you were on today. It's here in this state of exploration that you realize no matter how big nor how small, how easy, nor how hard. Every dot in your past connects to make you who you are today. Through 
exploration of the unknown, you begin to find yourself. You begin to formulate your past and ground yourself with who you are in the present. The present is the time to choose a new path. This is your fork in the road. The present is the turning point in which you take your past and evolve it into what becomes your future. It's looking forward toward the future where you begin to find the inspiration to build yourself goals and dreams. Goals and dreams give your life purpose and they give your life hope. That is what I love about the spirit of the open road. Because it's out here where you lose yourself. You explore your inner being and find yourself again in a whole new light. It's out here where you can appreciate life and live it mile by mile. Just remember, it's not about the destination. It's about what you find in the journey along the way.